This is a product video for TechRap's Mir Chrome Wrap Film, and here are the details. Product number, film type, multi-layered hybrid calendar, liner, craft white, length 20 meters, roll width 152 centimeters, comes in 14 colors, thickness 270 microns or 11 mil, adhesive solvent polyacrylate, uses OEM paint. Roll information, including a swatch of the color, can be found on the outside of the box, and a TechRap sticker and lot number can be found in the core tube. When getting a vehicle ready to be wrapped, place it on a lift when possible and work through a solid prep on the vehicle. Because Miracrome is the thickest of TechRap's film, the goal is to remove as many obstructions as possible in order to relax it around compound curves. This will significantly help during the install. While the hardware is being removed, the sections on the vehicle can be measured and the Miracrome cut down. Prep the specific masking tape holders with the name of each panel beforehand for steady workflow and set them aside for grab and go. The panels can be cut down on a table or vertically. If being done vertically, small panels can be handled by one prep person. Keep in mind that the liner is still on the face so the chrome that they roll up will be extra thick, around 24 mil. For larger panels, always work with two production people as this will keep the film from wrinkling or falling on the ground. For cleaning the surface, use a four-step process. First, clean the dirt off the surface with a solution that won't leave a residue behind, generally soap and water. Next, a clay bar glove or towel to remove minute specks. Then, once the specks are removed, remove the soapy residue with a microfiber towel. The final step is to degrease the surface and give extra focus to edges and recessed areas. With the car ready to be wrapped, lower the outside surface area of the panel being applied with masking tape and create a glide spray bottle which has extra soap. This is to minimize scratches from the squeegee and application glove. And here are the production details. No printing directly on the chrome. Also, it's highly recommended not to laminate it as it will make it thicker. And here's the warranty. Two years vertical and horizontal and you can also buy a minimum of three meters as opposed to a 20 meter roll. The chrome has a mirror-like finish that has a high reflection. The mirror chrome also has a high surface energy which means for inlays or overlaps, there's no need to prep the surface to make sure that it sticks for the long term. Mirror chrome is also not directional, which means the panels can be applied in any direction on the vehicle and they'll still look uniform. The protective liner can be removed before or after the panel has been installed. The adhesive has air regress features and has a medium initial tack. Choosing a buffer is critical for a perfect finish. Using a dry buffer can result in scratches on the surface, so it's important to use a wet buffer with a soapy solution. This will help minimize scratches. Squeegeeing the film onto the surface, then heating and pulling, can cause the mirror chrome to whiten. The film does have a memory effect, however, when the memory is triggered, the whitening will actually get worse, and if the film gets wrinkles, these cannot be self-healed as well. And here's the install information. Workspace temperature between 17 and 25 Celsius. Standard cleaning methods apply. Flat to moderate curves only. Here are the tools needed in order to get a professional result and the surface energy for overlaps and inlays is very high. When installing mirror chrome on any section, it's best to use two to three installers. This helps keep the film from folding on itself and allows it to be worked in stages. Wipe a tack cloth over the section right before it's placed to remove tiny specks of dirt, then remove any excess film with the liner on. When tacking a panel, make light hinges as this will avoid whitening when the film is stretched even on flat sections. Once the liner is removed, before creating glass, it's best to remove the liner. This will help it relax on the flat and curves. Pulling with three installers using the triangle technique will even the film out on the flat sections without heat. This is critical to maintain the mirror chrome finish. With the film set on the flat areas, it can be worked around the curves using a combination of heat and pulling evenly with several sets of hands. Keep in mind that the flat sections have not been squeegeed. This is important to do as locking in the chrome will make it overstretch on the edges. It's critical to work on small sections and stretch only as far as needed. Once there's 100% glass, use the palm technique to form the film into recessed areas. Spraying the application gloves and the wet buffers with soap and water will help minimize scratches. Extremely critical to do this. Before forming the film into the recessed areas, in some sections the film might have to be warmed so it conforms nicely. But because the material hasn't been squeegeed onto the surface, it relaxes and doesn't whiten. Once the film has been applied to the main surface area, it's now time to cut the excess film off. Always be sure to cut on the opposite side of the section being applied. This will create roughly around one centimeter of excess film that will wrap around the edges. This is extremely important to do as well as to seal the deal. 
Making sure that all edges are 100% sealed is critical for long-term durability. When possible, always open up the section being wrapped. Once this section has been open, it's time to relax the edges. Always start on the corners first. By focusing on the corners, you shift the tension into the middle, which is safe. With the edges relaxed, always focus on cutting the corners first. Form the round cleanly. Then, once the film is set, cut to the corners. This will avoid any type of tension and result in perfect chrome finish corners. When the section has been applied, always put pre-mask over it to keep it from getting damaged when working on other areas on the vehicle. When sectioning up large panels, use magnets to secure it on the vehicle and then trace the shape of each section being cut out with a dry erase marker. This will help avoid mistakes. Be sure to leave around 9 centimeters or 3 inches of extra bleed on all edges, then cut the excess film away with a snitty. Make sure the edge of the blade of the snitty is extra sharp. This will cut cleanly through the chrome film and the liner. Roll up the panels carefully and then store them to avoid them from getting damaged or wrinkled while the other panels are being wrapped. Working with several installers during this process is very important. Use wheel well covers to keep the dirt down, and for flatter panels, it's a good idea to work as a team as one or two installers can create glass while another installer applies the film. For the recessed areas, use the palm technique and apply these first. And for deeper recessed areas, like the door handle cup, add some heat, then use the double thumb technique to work the film in one movement. This will help avoid adhesive lines and from overstretching. For sections that have more compound curves, it's critical to use at least three installers and start on the right body line. Once the film is lightly tacked, try to work the film on the flat areas first by working at room temperature. No heat being applied to the film. Pull firm and use the triangle technique to spread the film out around the curves. Once set, read the wrinkles. If they are too severe, then the film will have to be picked back up and an air heater should be used to warm the film up a few degrees. Pull the film in the exact same manner as before and then form the film onto the section until it has 100% glass. Avoid squeegeeing it at this point as it will overstretch the film. Once set, wet the buffers and application gloves, then apply the recessed areas first, then the flat last. For hardware that could not be removed, use knifeless tape to get extra material behind it, then feed in the gap for full coverage. For severe compound curves, like on the trunk, it's best to wrap them in multiple pieces. These will be cuts directly on the body, so using knifeless tape is critical to avoid damage on the paint surface. Wrapping these areas in sections essentially makes the panels flat, so one installer can do this by themselves and even keep the liner on the face. This minimizes scratches to zero, which helps maintain a perfect mirror chrome finish. Once one panel is finished, prep the overlap piece with knifeless tape. The key is to make sure that there's three to five millimeters overlap for long-term hold. This panel, if flat, can be done solo as well, and the liner can be cupped on during the squeegeeing process. This will keep those scratches down to zero. To form the film around the moderate curve at the front, soften the mirror chrome with heat and work in sections. Softening simply relaxes, but be sure not to stretch during this process. Once the excess film is cut away, the overlap should be sealed with a finger or squeegee, and if done correctly, it simply disappears into the body line. For mirrors or door handles, the same multi-section mentality applies. Wrapping these sections in one piece without widening or distortion is not possible, so having good prep and hiding everything on the body lines is critical. If done right, the result can look like it was wrapped in one piece, but for long-term hold and quality, wrapping in sections is essential. For large compound curves, like on a bumper, it's best to lower the surface energy of anything sticking out like the exhaust pipe with pre-mask and then to work with three to four installers, then using an IR heater or steamer to soften the film. The trick is to pull evenly around the corners with the goal of neutralizing the severe compound curves. Pulling evenly and avoiding picking the material up during this phase is critical to avoid whitening or wrinkles. Once the material has glass, then squeegee the film onto the surface. Once one corner is done, repeat the exact same steps for the other side. Repeating the steps will help ensure quality and create good workflow. Once there's 100% glass, use the application glove to squeegee the film into the recessed areas, then come back in with the squeegee for the flat. Even with experienced installers, due to the nature of mirror chrome, there's a chance that there will be moderate whitening on these areas if done in one piece. So even here, it might be a good idea to wrap the bumper in sections. For post-install, cure time is 24 hours above 10 Celsius. Always use pH neutral aftercare products. Avoid using waxes or solvents. post heat temperature is 120 Celsius. Overlaps, 140 Celsius. For post-install, since the mirror chrome is the thickest tech wrap film, it also has the highest post-heat temperature. 
Also, all edges and compound curves need to be post seated to ensure no shrinkage. This means extra post seat time, but it'll ensure long term durability. Place the edge seal tape on the underside for extra hold and seal. These can be for bumpers and for rocker panels. For the wipe down process with aftercare products, it's different with mirror chrome than with standard tech wrap films as well. Usually, the installer wipes the wrap film with an aftercare product, however, during the install, the mirror chrome finish can get light scratches. Using a standard steamer on these scratches, can self-heal them, which brings back the original mirror chrome finish. Therefore, for the final wipe down, it's best to steam the entire wrap first. These will remove all the minor scratches. Once it's been steamed, dry off the moisture with a soft microfiber towel. Then the final step is to wipe it down with aftercare product. This will create a perfect finish for the client. For information on removals, you can use a propane torch heat gun steamer or heater. Should leave no more than 5-10% to residue and should be done within three years of the application. For more information on Mirror Chrome, you can go to this URL or to these social media pages. This has been a product video for TechWrap's Mirror Chrome Wrap Film Series. Proudly produced by the Wrap Institute.